Unit 16. People and Places A. Famous Places in Asia 1. Listen, then practice with a partner. What is that, Ba? It's a postcard from my Uncle Nya. He sent it from Bangkok. What is he doing in Bangkok? He's a pilot. It's his job to fly there. How exciting! Does he fly only to Bangkok? No, he flies all over the region. He usually flies to Hong Kong as well as Bangkok. Sometimes he flies to Kuala Lumpur or Singapore or Jakarta. Occasionally he goes to Phnom Penh, Vientiane or Yangon. I'd love to see all those places. Me too. My uncle sends me postcards every time he goes away. So I have both postcards and stamps from all those cities. Can I see the stamps? Sure. I'll bring my album to school tomorrow. 3. Listen and complete this pilot schedule with the correct place names. On Monday, I flew to Bangkok and then to Singapore. I stayed Monday and Tuesday nights in a hotel. Then on Wednesday I flew to Jakarta. I stayed overnight and on Thursday I flew to Bali. I stayed there Thursday and Friday. On Friday night I went to a cultural show and saw some Balinese dancers. On Saturday I flew to Hong Kong. I was there overnight. On Sunday I finally flew back to Hanoi. 4. Listen and read. Then answer the questions. Destinations Southeast Asia has many attractions. If you are interested in history, you could visit many ancient monuments. The attractions range from the beautiful Khmer temples of Angkor Wat to the huge Buddhist temples of Bora Budur in Java. You may be interested in the traditions of different cultures. You can see different shows, from colorful dances in Thailand to shadow puppet shows in Indonesia. During these shows, you can listen to and enjoy traditional music. You may prefer the ocean. There are a lot of resorts and thousands of kilometers of beaches. You can swim, you can dive and admire colorful corals and fish. You can sail and enjoy a healthy outdoor life. Unit 16. People and Places A. Famous Places in Asia 1. Listen. Then practice with a partner. Pages 168, 169. What is that, Ba? It's a postcard from my Uncle Nia. He sent it from Bangkok. What is he doing in Bangkok? He's a pilot. It's his job to fly there. How exciting! Does he fly only to Bangkok? No. He flies all over the region. He usually flies to Hong Kong as well as Bangkok. Sometimes he flies to Kuala Lumpur or Singapore or Jakarta. Occasionally, he goes to Phnom Penh, Vinchan, or Rangoon. I would love to see all those places. So would I. But my uncle sends me postcards every time he goes away. So I have both postcards and stamps from all those cities. Can I see the stamps? Sure. I will bring my album to school tomorrow. Three, listen and complete this pilot schedule with the correct place names, page 170. On Monday, I flew to Bangkok and then to Singapore. I stayed Monday and Tuesday nights in a hotel. Then on Wednesday, I flew to Jakarta. I stayed overnight and on Thursday, I flew to Bali. I stayed there Thursday and Friday. On Friday night, I went to a cultural show and saw some Balinese dancers. On Saturday, I flew to Hong Kong. 
I was there overnight. On Sunday, I finally flew back to Hanoi. 4. Listen and read. Then answer the questions. Page 170. Destinations. Southeast Asia has many attractions. If you are interested in history, there are many ancient monuments. The attractions range from the beautiful Khmer temples of Angkor Wat to the huge Buddhist temples of Borobudur in Java. You may be interested in the traditions of different cultures. You can see different shows, from colorful dances in Thailand to shadow puppet shows in Indonesia. During these shows, you can listen to and enjoy traditional music. You may prefer the ocean. There are thousands of resorts and thousands of kilometers of beaches. You can swim. You can dive and admire colorful corals and fish. And you can sail and enjoy a healthy outdoor life. B. Famous people. 1. Listen. Then practice with a partner. Hello, Liz. What are you doing? I'm studying for a history quiz. Can you help me? Sure. What's the problem? Who's Va Win Yap? He's a famous general. What's he famous for? That's easy. He's famous for leading the People's Army of Vietnam at Dien Bien Phu. He was its commander-in-chief. What happened at Dien Bien Phu? General Yap's forces defeated the French there in 1954. Do you know when the general was born? In 1920. No, I'm wrong. It was in 1911. I remember he was 43 when the People's Army of Vietnam won the battle. Thanks, Ba. You are very good at history. Well, I'm really interested in it, and I have a lot of history books at home. Can I borrow some of them? Sure. Let's go and get some now. 3. Read. Then answer the questions. The Battle of Dien Bien Phu ended the Indochina War. Today, Dien Bien Phu is a tourist destination. Many visitors are battle veterans or members of their families. As well as visiting the battle site, tourists can enjoy the beautiful scenery of the Mung Tan Valley, visit the neighboring villages, and share the hospitality of the local people. Most of the people who live in the area are members of the Thai or Hmong ethnic minorities. However, they do not depend on tourism alone to live. As Dien Bien Phu is only 30 kilometers from the Laos border, it is an important trading center. Food leaves here for Laos and Thailand, and goods arrive for the northern provinces of Vietnam. 4. Read. Famous people. Thomas Edison, born USA. 1847 to 1931. Thomas Edison was an inventor. His most famous invention was the electric light bulb. He also established the first central power station in New York City. During his lifetime, he invented over 1,300 things, including the gramophone and motion pictures. Hans Christian Andersen Born Denmark, 1805-1875. Hans Christian Andersen was a Danish author. He grew up in a poor family, and he wanted to be an actor. Later, a friend of his paid for his education at, at Copenhagen University. He wrote novels, plays, poetry, and travel books. However, he became most famous for the fairy tales he wrote between 1835 and 1872. 5. Listen. Complete the table. 
Ho Chi Minh was born in 1890 in Yan Province, in the village of Kim Lien. When he was 21 years old, he left Vietnam and traveled to Africa, England, and America. After this, he worked in a hotel in London in the early 1900s, then moved to Paris in 1917. He spent six years in Paris, one year in Moscow, and then moved to Guangzhou. He founded the Indo-Chinese Communist Party when he was living in Guangzhou. During the 1930s, Ho Chi Minh continued to travel, and after his return to Vietnam, he formed the Viet Minh Front in 1941. Four years later, he became president of the Democratic Republic of Vietnam, after Vietnam declared its independence. Ho Chi Minh died in Hanoi in 1969, but he will always be remembered by the Vietnamese people. B. Famous people. 1. Listen. Then practice with a partner. Page 172. Hello, Liz. What are you doing? I'm studying for a history quiz. Can you help me? Sure. What's the problem? Who is Vo Nguyen Zap? He is a famous general. What is he famous for? That is easy. He's famous for leading the People's Army of Vietnam at Dien Bien Phu. He was its commander-in-chief. What happened at Dien Bien Phu? General Jop's forces defeated the French in 1954. Do you know when the general was born? In 1920. No, I'm wrong. It was 1912. I remember he was 42 when the People's Army of Vietnam won the battle. Thanks, Ba. You are very good at history. Well, I'm really interested in it, and I have a lot of history books at home. Can I borrow some of them? Okay. Let's go and get some now. Unit 16. People and Places. B. Famous People. 2. Read. Then answer the questions, page 173. The Battle of Dien Bien Phu ended the First Indochina War. Today, Dien Bien Phu is a tourist destination. Many visitors are battle veterans or members of their families. As well as visiting the battle site, tourists can enjoy the beautiful scenery of the Mung Tang Valley, visit the neighboring villages, and share the hospitality of the local people. Most of the people who live in the area are members of the Thai or Hmong ethnic minorities. However, they do not depend on tourism alone to live. As Dien Bien Phu is only 30 kilometers from the Lao border, it is an important trading center. Food leaves here for Laos and Thailand, and goods arrive for the northern provinces of Vietnam. Question. A. What can people visit in Dien Bien Phu? C. What else can tourists do in Dien Bien Phu? C. Why is Dien Bien Phu's location important? Three. Read. Page 173-174. Famous people. Thomas Edison, born in the USA, 1847 to 1931. Thomas Edison was an inventor. His most famous invention was the electric light bulb. He also established the first central power station in New York City. This led to the construction of other power stations in the United States of America and Europe. During his lifetime, he invented over 1,300 things, including the gramophone and motion pictures. Hans Christian Andersen, Denmark, 
1875. Hans Christian Andersen was a Danish author. He grew up in a poor family, but he wanted to be an actor. A friend of his paid for his education at Copenhagen University, and later he wrote novels, plays, poetry, and travel books. However, he became most famous for the fairy tales he wrote between 1835 and 1872. Now, work with a partner. A. One of you is student A. The other is student B. Look at your information. Student A. You are a newspaper reporter. Imagine you are going to interview Thomas Edison. Use the information in the reading passage. Student B. You are Thomas Edison. A newspaper reporter is going to interview you. Use the information in the reading passage to answer the question. When were you born, Edison? In 1847. Were you born in America? Yes, I was. B. Now change roles. Student A is Hans Christian Andersen. Student B is the reporter. Complete the interviews. Four. Listen. Complete the table. Page 175. Ho Chi Minh was born in 1890 in Yan'an province, in the village of Kim Lin. When he was 21 years old, he left Vietnam and traveled to Africa, England, and America. After this, he worked in a hotel in London in the early 1900s, then moved to Paris in 1917. He spent six years in Paris, one year in Moscow, and then moved to Zhangzhou. He founded the Indo-Chinese Communist Party when he was living in Zhangzhou. During the 1930s, Ho Chi Minh continued to travel, and after his return to Vietnam, he formed the Viet Minh in 1941. Four years later, he became president of the Democratic Republic of Vietnam after Vietnam declared its independence. Ho Chi Minh died in Hanoi in 1969, but he will always be remembered by the Vietnamese people. <laughs>